What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Guys, today we're going to talk about um, a video that's trending on World Star Hip Hop. Um, that involves this particular black man that is on the subway uh, with this a Caucasian lady. Now, in in my opinion, I believe they're in New York, in New York City. Um, I'm not necessarily sure, but you know, this this guy is he he found this this lady on the subway, white lady. She probably got a big booty right and you know she seems like she's okay looking so you have this brothers this brother out there that's trying to holler now for me um you know if it's if it's black women it's more comfortable but i never you know even when i was more likely to, to date somebody out of the race i would never really approach a woman like in a crowded place like that i don't know that's just my thing because you know people on the subway, man, they be ready to go home and stuff like this. But this brother, man, is following this lady from the subway to wherever she is. And obviously she's been like, he's been following her for a long time to the point where she can actually record the interaction. So guys, I want you to, to look at the video and you know, I, I want you to tell me what you think and, and let's see what goes on here. About you Caucasian woman that makes all y'all so attractive. I'm not sure. I just know that you approached me on the subway and oh, I don't so really I'm need that man, right I'm now. A, I'm a man. I'm an alpha. Like, if I see a, a, a bad chick, I'm going to approach her. I ain't no sucker. I appreciate that, but I don't want to speak right now. Well, I'm trying to be as polite as possible, but um, I don't really need a chaperone. Yo, can I get your phone number? No, I don't want to give you my phone I number. Like to talk to you a little more. Like, you're pretty I don't like, want to talk to you anymore. I feel like, I feel like yo, we have a lot in common. Like, I don't think so. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You don't? No. Really? Yeah. Why not? I really don't. Man. Please don't look at my ass when I'm walking away. I really don't need you to do that. Yo, can I get your Instagram? Nope, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I really don't like being harassed. This is not okay. And he's screaming at me. Um. All right, guys. So you hear what she had to say, okay? So, you know, the guy was like, you know, he's an alpha male. He's not no, um, he's not no sucker. If he sees a girl he likes, he's going to holler and all this stuff. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, bro. But if the woman is not interested and it's not like, you know, she's like, no, you know, I don't want to talk or anything like that. And it's kind of like a play for or something where you can overcome the objection. It's obvious she don't want to talk to you at all. You know, tell her, you know, it's a nice day. You walk, you know, I'll catch another time or whatever like that. But the guy keeps trying to follow her. And see, here's a situation why, like, a lot of, you know, approaching and stuff like that, why women say it's toxic. Because, number one. The lady don't want to talk to you she don't want to talk to you all right she don't want to talk to you could be a bad day could be she just don't like black guys could be she already got a boyfriend could be she just in a bad mood or whatever she doesn't want to talk to you if she doesn't want to talk to you let it be that all right she ain't trying to holler at me or whatever you know what i'm saying i'm about here no you got this idiot that's following her for some time and like you know and then she's like, can you please stop looking at my ass? No, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm really never, like, simmer for women in cases like this. But in this case, from what I see, obviously she's trying to, like, not talk to the guy. And then, you know, here you have a guy who just can't really take a hint. Okay? Here's something that brothers got to understand. I do believe in the ability to approach women if you want to talk to them. But I think a lot of guys that deal with urban women, and I know this is different, okay? Urban women, 
black women, Dominican women, they're going to be a little bit more receptive to the approach like, okay, yo, I don't want to talk to you. And you kind of keep like, maybe like trying a little bit. Like, come on, you know, like, you know, you looking good, girl. I'm just trying to see what's up, you know what I mean? Or whatever like that. Try to make her laugh or something like this. When you're dealing with white girls, you know, like if they don't really like you and they're interested in the black guys, they're not playing with you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, pick up with white women for me would have to be some sort of like indicate. I just not going to just walk to no random white girl if I was into him like that. I don't care if her ass is fat. I I'm just not going to be like, yo, what's up? Like there had to be some kind of like a black woman. I could at least in the culture of pickup, black women will, are more likely to give you more opportunity to holler. Something like that. More opportunity for you to talk to them. But, uh, but somebody that's like not white or not black, like bro, like you, you're trying to use the same mentality that you would use with a, 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 a black woman from the streets. And I'm not saying that you can't treat all women the same, but your approach is like, I'm an alpha male. If I see a woman, like, you know, I mean, that's kind of like a, a pseudo masculine kind of thing. And that works in urban areas. It, it doesn't really work in my opinion with women who don't identify with men like that. Like you're not the kind of guy from her community that possibly she would talk to. I mean, you know, you got braids to look like and all this other stuff. So like, you know, she's on the subway and everything like that, but you're not the kind of guy that she can identify with or is interested in. Yet you're still trying to run the same kind of game on her because she got a fat booty. Like, you know, and this is kind of what where we're at. But a lot of guys that are simps, like, yo, she don't want to talk to you, bro. Like, like chill. All right. It's okay to be told no. Listen, I've been in Africa, right? Like, no cap. As you youngsters would say. Been in Africa. I'm like, yo, man, it was one chick, man, yo, she was so thick. Um, actually, Kim, give me some some story time music. So look, man, I was at Acacia Mall, right? Yo, it was a chick, man. Oh, God, like, I was, I, I was like, come at the mall, like, yo, like, you working with a lot right here. You know? Now I wasn't standing like that, I was like, you know, you looking nice, you know, would like really like to talk to you and all this stuff, maybe you know, um, take you to dinner. She was like, yo, well, that's a nice one, but no. I was like, okay, well, you know. And, and it wasn't like she was like, no, uh, whatever. It was like, like she was like re being real short. You know what I'm saying? So if she gonna be real short, I'm not gonna be like wasting my time if you like real short. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm trying to tell guys. If, if it was more or less like, well, you know, I don't know, or, um, you know, and she was kind of giving me some vibes like, well, I want to see if you can overcome or fight. But if she ain't giving you nothing to work with, she ain't giving me nothing to work with, oh, I'm not going to keep, because then it's like she might get scared or something. Like, she don't even know you. You feel me? And then, like, you know what I mean? You know how some chicks are, you know. That's just what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of you guys are really, really, a lot of you niggas really dumb, man. You know what I mean? That, that, that are doing this. So this is why I think a lot of guys also stay on Tinder a lot. I think the reason why is a lot of brothers are, are afraid of um of rejection. Listen, man, you the best looking chicks are, like I said, I believe are in person. Right? Because you, you know what they look like. You know what I'm saying? You know they're looking cool. You you already you already know how that works, right? But if she ain't giving you no game, because she gotta give you at least something to work with. No game. She's walking away from you very fast. She's not stopping. She's not slowing down. You know, hey, what's up? Well, you know, it's nice talking to you. You know, you have a nice day and all of that. It's, it's, it's all good, man. And, you know, if you run into her again, you can say hello. Or maybe the, maybe the next time she, you know, you'd be like, well, you know, you shot me down last time. But, you know, maybe today, you know, what's up? So maybe she might be a little bit more, you know, um, cool the next time. You don't know. But, man, I just, you know, you guys, man, got to stop with this symphonist and following chicks around. But what do you guys think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the black men of proof t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all-time high. I'm out.